On lap 5 of the Australian Grand Prix came a shock twist. Max Verstappen slowed down and plummeted down the field, suffering a major problem with the right rear brake. This issue ultimately led to retirement. His Red Bull RB20 caught fire in that area, with visible flames coming out of the rim. Once he entered the pits, it was immediately clear there was nothing else to do other than put out the fire. After suffering a small explosion, the machine went back into the garage, leaving Melbourne with frustration and disappointment. Early analysis, carried out directly on the track, rules out a problem with the braking system, which is supplied entirely by Brembo this year. The root cause is instead linked to the hydraulic component of the single-seater. Something likely went wrong in the RB20's rear-right hydraulic line, where there was some residual pressure. Max Verstappen immediately complained about his rear end, which was due to the caliper remaining stuck. This applied resistance to his brake disc's right rear wheel. This caused strong friction, which first caused overheating, and then the fire, which destroyed the entire corner. Horner explained this the problem was present right from the start. This immediately caused problems for Max, with the temperature continuing to increase. Now we will analyze all the pieces to understand where the problem originated. Ferrari also suffered a problem with their braking system in Bark Rain, resulting in performance issues for Leclerc's SF24. However, unlike in the case of Verstappen's Australia DNF, the problem did not directly depend on the components of the braking system. Instead, the Dutchman's retirement was caused by the setup dynamics of the car, which penalized the RB20's performance and integrity.